So FC24 has been out for over three months, Dan. In that time, I've had multiple rank one finishes. We've hit the elite division multiple times. I reviewed... Don't even know how many cards now, just by looking at my channel, you'll see that I've probably put in about 100 plus player views. And of course, we've tried out cards off stream and off recording as well. And I get asked a lot of questions on stream or just in my comment section about certain players. If you should use this guy over this guy, do this SPC or not. So in this video, we're going back to basics and we're going to go through the best meta players that I have used that you should consider using in Foot Champions. And when you go through every budget and every position, it's going to be a long one. So let's get into it. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. So the way this video is going to work is I'm going to go through different budgets. We've got 50k start, we're going through defenders, midfielders, wingers and like left mid and right mids, and strikers and center forward. And if I do miss a card, which is more than likely going to be the case, or you're going to disagree with me, or think that I kind of, you know, should have not put this player in this section, do let me know down below in the comment section while you're down there, smash the like. Let's see if we can hit. Are you ready for this? 15 likes within the first hour. So if you're watching within the first hour, press that button. Also, I'm recovering from a cold right now. My voice is going a little bit. So if I go a bit like croaky or my voice cracks, allow me. Okay. Okay. So 50k and under defenders. I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but in my opinion, this is the best selection. Where if you basically got 50k and under in your budget and you want a defender, you should be looking at some of these cards here. Some of them are dirt cheap. Some of them a little bit more expensive, close to that 50k total. So all of our bench down here and the reserves are all the fullbacks that I reckon are the creme de la creme for your foot champ side or division rivals if you've got a cheaper budget. I will use one of these as well in my main team. Take a guess who it is. We're going to get to him shortly. That's a little bit of a clue. But obviously you've got the heavy hitters. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this category, the 50k and under. Most of you guys will probably be in higher budgets. Uh, that's fair enough. If not, this is mainly for the newer players or people who don't have enough coins to really kind of build a super, super meta squad. These are the best shouts. So Davies, Mendy, Walker, Hakimi, straight away, are probably the top four super meta ratty fullbacks here. Walker's no nonsense, purely pace. Same with Mendy, Davies, Akimi. You can see they've all got one thing in common, and that's decent dribbling for a fullback and a lot, a lot of pace. Now, we've also got quick step on Davies, which is a nice little bonus in regards to having extra play styles here. I'm a fan of that. And I think, yeah, multiple leagues as well. Bundesliga, Ligue 1, La Liga, and Premier League. Need I say more? Moving on to another brilliant duo down here in the Liga, or well, the French League, Women's League. Akima, is that what it's called? I never actually remember. D1 Akima. We'll call it D1 for now. We got Batcha. I'm pretty soon if you're playing the game at the moment, you'll recognize this girl because she's got a road to the f knockout card. That is insane. It's an SBC, no longer available, unfortunately. I did get on the RTG, but not on this account. And Karchawi. She got a team of the week in week one, and she was a demon. Both of these girls, so quick, so good on the ball, unbelievable dribbling stats, and a whole host of crazy play styles. Batcha does have the, uh, the whip pass plus, which is nice. Dead ball, anticipate, block. Jockey here, technical, crazy. One thing I will say, like in regards to play styles, if you aren't too clued up on them, or if you haven't really put, like, paid too much attention to them yet this year, in regards to like ball carrying, dribbling, I look for technical. 100% one of my favorites. Quick step and rapid, one of those two are nice as well. But technical just makes your player feel so much quicker. Also, press proven and technical, it's a crazy combination. Now, a few other alternate options kind of outside the super sweaty meta. We've got the likes of Kieran Tierney. My left back right now, Kieran Tierney. I'm an Arsenal fan, so I've got bias there. But trust me, this boy is good on this game. Great dribbling stats if you're overlapping like I do. Linking up the play, he's got it. In the box, might let you down. But he's got shot power, so you never know, really. No playstyle plus, and the playstyles are a bit lacking. But apart from that, a really, really nice option. And still upgradable. I believe he's got the one upgrade. I think you get two playstyles and another inform. So an 87 with two playstyles. If they give him like an anticipate, and maybe like a technical or a quick step, we are dreaming. Crazy, crazy card and dirt cheap. The rest of the options down here, we've got Di Lorenzo for Syria. No nonsense, super solid, great defending stats, good physicals and good pace. It's essentially the criteria for a budget fullback. Dest, once again, fits the meta with the crazy pace and the crazy dribbling. 99 agility, mad pace, links are a bit difficult and he's got no play styles. But if you're able to get him in on like any chem, definitely a decent shout. Rolfo, a little bit lacking in the pace department now. At the start of the game, she was crazy, but still very usable at this stage. Good work, well-rounded stats. Can play as a box-to-box -box center mid as well. If you want like a super sub and you need a little, like, tiny little budget, Rolfo's a good shout. She could play most positions. Jonathan Klaus, probably the go-to budget league earn right back. Just probably ahead of Akimi, I would say. 
purely because he has a bit more uh, going for him in regards to defending. And uh, yeah, better play styles than Akimi. Akimi's got decent ones, but just quick step and then the old uh, whip pass, nothing crazy. I definitely like the uh, addition of Anticipate here. And of course, Relentless, get, keep you going for those Foot Champs games. Really solid looking card. And I don't know if he's reached his max upgrades. If you know and he's still due a few, let me know down below. And to round off the full bass, we've got Timmy Weyer once again, a pace demon. Great dribbling stats, decent defending of physicals. Play styles aren't too shabby, not bad for a cheap Syria beast. And of course, radioactive, so chemistry is not really an issue with a boy. So those are my selection for the cheap, budget fullbacks. Let's kill the centre backs. So I'm going to run through these super quick. There's a few metas, like super sweaty, ratty ones, like I would say kind of fit in the same category as Akimi, Mendy, Walker. Those are Tamori, Marquinhos, Eda Militar. Kunde and Varam. If you're on a budget, you need centre backs, look towards these guys right here. I'll put them in a little group at the top because they're as easy as it gets. They're all gold rares, super cheap and affordable now, and just super decent in game. Gonna be outdated eventually, but at this stage, you could definitely still rock a Tamori with that pace, that is defending those physicals. Lack of play styles is probably why he's so cheap. Edin Militao's dropped off a lot now. Probably one of my, him and Kunde probably were my favourite centre back duo at the start. And I would say, Kunde is definitely the best out of all of them. Jockey play style plus, yes please, and crazy looking stats. Now an underrated shout, Leo Williamson. Can play as a CDM as well. Really nice card. She does have a long ball play style plus, and she's also got incredible defending stats as her regular play styles. Just a, a really decent underrated shout. Reactions being 92, the long pass 95. She's basically prime Perlo from the back. Decent-ish links. Uh, yeah, a really nice budget shout, and I think she's like 20, 30k, which is great. Similar price to Kalulu. Once again, I would compare him a lot to Kunde purely because of the height. He's uh, a little bit on the smaller side, being only six foot, but medium high. The player's a fullback. Really, really nice option for such a cheap price as well. Definitely would recommend. I don't think, or maybe her SBC is still a, a, like around Ali Krieger here. I think it might be. Only five foot six. So definitely on the smaller side. I actually played her as a CDM, but if you've got end of this out links like those star cards like Morgan, Swanson, for example, definitely get this card in your squad. Ridiculous dripping, great defending, brilliant physicals, a well-rounded machine. And she's five for six of aerial plus, so she can leap like a salmon and get on those headers. A couple of heroes I've included in this one, Mascherano. We've also got a few others like Collar, for example, but I would probably say Mascherano and Carvalho are the best. Heroes under 50k right now. Low high, 5 foot 9, plays CDM as well. Just really good defending, great reactions, ball control, which definitely allows him in here. Playstyle plus isn't great, being slide tackle, but does have intercept. Now, Carvalho, anticipate playstyle plus and jockey. That combination is crazy, crazy good. And he is stacked to the nines with the defending of physicals. Brilliant option. And then this man under 50k is crazy. I think he's reached his full upgrade potential now. We might be due one more potentially. Go into an 87. I'm not 100% sure on this one. But look at the stats. Under 50k coins for Hinkapi. Yeah. Absolute steal. Links are a bit difficult. But you got Bundesliga setup. Grimaldo maybe. Consider this man. I wasn't lying when I said this video is going to be long. It might be the longest video on my channel. So I don't want to dilly daddle too much on certain cards and certain tiers. We're going to try and keep it quick for you guys. Now, centre mid, CDM and cam. So central midfielders. This is my selection for under 50k. Not too many crazy shouts, but standard gold rare cards like Euro, really solid. Still De Jong, definitely still usable. Dabinia, a nice shout, but once again, NWSL, very limited on links unless you are rocking the obvious selection. Hasamawa here up to an 88 now, really nice card. Probably more suited as a cam. Could play as like a more attacking centre mid though with those interceptions and defending stats. Definitely under the radar. Play styles are lacking, which is probably why his price is a little bit low. And links are difficult being Algerian, but still a brilliant option. Thiago actually really impressed me. I've used this man in draft way too many times. I think the combination of ridiculous dribbling stats, great acceleration and technical, he glides. And his outside the box shooting is actually underrated. Ping those Trevellos, you'll be absolutely fine with a boy as he has the playstyle. First touch playstyle plus as well. And it's the fan favourite for Liverpool fans. An icon sneaking in there, under 50k, your two so. Now, he's not really meta. But like, as a known like no on to CDM, you can't really go wrong, lads. Pace is decent. Give him like an anchor chem style or maybe like a catalyst to super juice that in the passing. Great reactions, agility and balance a little bit low, but the defending and physicals are crazy. He does also have relentless intercepts and bruiser. Should be bruiser plus to be fair, in my opinion. Yeah, but decent shout for under 50,000 coins. Leon Goretzka, Hullet gang, boy, 
And yeah, probably the go-to center midfielder from the Bundesliga under 50k in my opinion. Team of the week, super cheap now. It's basically the, the discard price of team of the week. So it'll be, it might be a little bit more to be fair. But yeah, box to box machine. Similar to Frank Kessie. Links aren't even that bad this year. And this man's chemistry it is a radioactive card. So stick this man in team and get one icon. He's on full chem. Brilliant, brilliant card for this stage of the game in my opinion. And super chips. Uh, let's keep on going forward here. And we've got the go-to hero in under 50k for center mid. It is Kessler. Her UCL card looks stat, by the way. Definitely want to try that when it comes out. Jockey, incisive pass, place that plus is nice. Flair, Chabella, first touch, really well-rounded. Basically the female version of Mateus and a little bit cheaper. And then the girl, the go-to that you should be looking for in this price bracket is Kim Little. She's going to go to a 90, I'm almost positive. You ready for the stats? Three star, four star, five at four. Not amazing. But as a cam, she is built different. Look at the dribbling. 96 ball control, reactions, the agility, the balance, the dribbling stat itself, the composure. Going forward, not too shabby. Really good in the passing department. Defending's not even that bad. And she's got technical playstyle plus. She actually flies across the pitch. It's not even a joke. It's crazy. She's like the Bernardo Silva female equivalent. That's a good comparison, I'd say. Long ball, ping pass, incisive pass, rapid, and press proven. Brilliant, brilliant card. That rounds off the central midfielders. Let's go for the wingers. By the way, Lemsip is elite. It's S tier. Let me know down below if you have Lemsip in your country. It might just be the UK. I'm not too sure. But if you like it, my, my fiance hates it, but I absolutely love it. All right, carry it on to the right mids, the left mids, the left wings, and the right wingers. There's some crazy meta options here. And super cheap budget ones off the bat are Cascarino, Diaby, Rodman. You're essentially looking for pace. They've all got one thing in common as well, or two. Pace and quick step play style plus. They fly down the wings. Decent ish links as well, especially for budget. End of a good shout. Premier League, you can't really go wrong, uh, in my opinion. Another few cheap options are Dembele, under 20k now. Really good rapid play style plus pace and dribbling combination. Rafa Liao, probably my go to at the start of the game on the RTG, putting easily 200 games with the boy. Really, really nice player. I actually played him as a striker as well, but out wide will be fine. And then Swanson again. NWSL taking over this lower bracket for sure. Now, there's a few more premium options here, closer to the 40, 50K. Two of them, well, Sun's dropped off now. But Finesse Shot Playstyle Plus, for those of you that aren't really clued on with playstyles, is the go-to finishing playstyle plus. If you've got it, you're absolutely bagging goals for fun. Finesse Shot from all over the shop. Sun is five star weak foot as well. It will go in the back of the net. And Lee Kang in. Yes. He's going to go up to an 88 rated with one more win, I believe, for PSG. He's already got the play styles. I don't know if they've been given as of yet. But technical, unbelievable dribbling stats. He glides across the pitch. Brilliant, brilliant shout for under 50k as an SBC right now. If you've got PSG or Ligue 1 based players or maybe Sun, definitely a good shout to look at that squad. Now, Daniel, Daniel, I don't know what I was about to call him. Daniel, I don't know why. Daniel Marlin, he's an FC Pro card. So he's due more upgrades. I believe he's got... The 10 point category i'm not 100 sure though so i'm pretty certain he can maybe go to an 89 if that's right with he will be five star five star if the pro gets there uh which is emre yilmaz i believe that's his name uh play style and another inform upgrade as well but unbelievable card at this stage of the game for like 30k i think he is is mad the dribbling the shooting the pace like yes now play style is a little bit lacking in regards to the scoring a great ball control play styles here. We do have Chabella, which is brilliant. And definitely a good Bundesliga option. Oh, yeah. Go on, then. Go on, Acho. Got to be done. I reviewed him on the channel. A lot of you guys have probably seen that already. Yeah, he's a demon. Acrobatic play style plus. Finesse shot. Technical. Really, really good card. Like, he plays much better than the stats what he did for me, at least. And definitely worth considering. Links are pretty good as well. Another team of the week option is Luis Diaz. Very similar. I would say Garnacho is better in my opinion. I think he's better on the ball. Even though Diaz has better dribbling stats overall. Uh, play styles are also better for Garnacho in my opinion. But, but yeah, Liverpool fans, Premier League. Very good shout. I think they're a similar price to be fair. Same with Marcus Rashford. Still under 50k and still meta. The man's so good. He's built different. Power shot, play style plus, technical quick step. Yeah, really nice option at this stage. Felipe Anderson, you know what? Underrated. Four star, four star. Really good dribbler. That's it. Shooting isn't bad as well with a finesse shot, but dribbling. Unbelievable. He glides across the pitch. Really nice play styles. Doku as well. Might be getting a player of the month. So if you're debating buying this card, maybe hang fire and wait for Friday when that player of the month will be announced. It's going to be him or Harry Maguire potentially. Probably going to be Doku being realistic. And that card is going to be crazy. But it's two weeks mad. The pace and dribbling, jelly balance and acceleration is unmatched for a card. So really good option. And then the last few options in here, Diani. 
still crazy. Her Thunderstruck card is next level, really, really good. And this uh, gold one still usable. I still use it in my RTG squad. And Sigankov. I think there's another teammate for Girona or Girona from the Ukraine who you can link him to a striker. If you know that man, let me know down below. But yeah, very nice option. A little bit less meta, but good play styles nevertheless. And cheap as chip. Now, strikers and center forwards, I'm going to fly through this one. We've got the two USA girls, Morgan and Smith. You know, the, you know the deal with those two. Di Maria, being around a little while now, very nice option. Great job in stats. It literally glides across the pitch once again. Uh, apart from the balance and reactions, look at her stats. 96, 95, 94. Yes, please. Dybala, once again, great on the ball. Brilliant finishing with a finesse shot. Technical as well. Really nice option for Syria. Laka Sweaty, lethal goal scorer. Finesse shot, power shot, technical. You notice with my kind of like opinions, Power, uh, not power shot, finesse shot, technical are like my favourites if I can get them. Caramo, now he's just dropped once again, finesse shot and technical. This man's pro player didn't win a single game yesterday, not on four, so no upgrades to the man. And he went from like 100k down to 20k, so maybe not a bad idea to get him now. Because I don't know how many games are left, but the pro might turn it around and still secure maybe like at least two upgrades, which should be really good. If not, still a very good option for you budget players. Oshwala, no nonsense, crazy, super cheap Liga F player, still overpowered. Her radioactive card's great. Correa, just so well rounded. Like four star, four star. No real finishing shot of play styles, but we do have technical. Good job in shooting a pace on the man. Openda, essentially a pace demon, but this time around he has finesse shot and he knows where the back of the net is, which is beautiful. And then Fernando Morientes, I think, is the last one in this category. Four star, four star. Not super meta. But a really good player. Like big, physical, no-nonsense goal machine. And definitely worth considering in this bracket. And of course, we cannot forget the go-to striker centre forward under 50k. Antoine Griezmann. Finesse shot playstyle plus. Technical. Ridiculously good card still at this stage. Look at the goal to game ratio I've got for him. So moving on up to our next budget, we have got 50k to 100k cards. We're starting off with defenders. By the way, you might be wondering where are goalkeepers? I'm going to group them all in one little section at the very end of the video. But goalkeepers, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know my opinion. There's no like insane goalie. They're all basically the same. They're all rubbish one game, unreal the next game. That's basically my opinion, but run through that later. Going through the fullbacks here in this 150k down to 50k category. To be fair... This man's a bit controversial. He's not really a centre, uh, a right back, I mean, but his default position is a right back, but he's definitely a centre back in my opinion. So we're going to move him out of the way for now. Same with these guys being right mids and left mids. Grimaldo, Quadrado, Frimpong, they're full backs. Quadrado may be less so, but in my opinion, Grimaldo, Frimpong used to be playing as a right back. So we're going to dub them as right backs in this one here. Now, left backs, let's run through them real quick. We've got four options in my opinion, and uh, one of them is my absolute favourite fullback for this tier and that is Bombastor. She is absolutely insane. Sonia Bombastor is ridiculous. Five foot four high high. Tiny but really really good in game. She battles for the badge. She's got the passion and I tell you what her upgraded version looks mental. A host of crazy play styles as well. Really really nice option. Ren and Lodi I don't know if he's still available but he was an SVC during the FC Pro. If he's still available, consider it because he's linked to a decent pro. He's already gotten a few upgrades. Probably will get a few more. Really good for the league good at this stage. However, we might have an evolution coming out maybe today that might allow you to upgrade Nuno Mendes. So maybe hang fire on that one. So Lizarazu, very, very nice in the Bundesliga this time round. Great defending, good physicals, decent-ish dribbling. I have packed him and Bon Pastor on the RTG and I would prefer Sonia over Lizarazu. Just personal preference, I guess. Play styles are really nice though. Anticipate block and slide tackle plus. And last but not least it is Sakina Kachawi. If you can't afford a team of the week, let's get the gold version. She was in like the first couple of team of the week, so that's probably why she's super rare. If I believe she was put back into packs as part of the best of, so maybe the price has dropped a little bit. Hopefully it has, but still ridiculous at this stage. Jockey, block, anticipate, technical quick step. Yes, please. Crazy stats, great pace, good dribbling, good defending. Brilliant, brilliant card. Grimaldo, one of my go-tos is team of the week. Is 86 or 80? It was 86, team of the week. I packed him and tradable. Really nice left back for me at the start. Now this is his most improved team of the week. Not the best play styles. And he's crying out for a crazy meta promo card. Hopefully that happens over Christmas, over December, because I'll be getting it. Crazy card. Look at the, the passing, the dribbling. Like he's a technical fullback and I love it. Quadrado and Frimpong are very, very similar. Quadrado with the five star skills, the technical, the flair plus. Very, very good overlapping defender. Definitely a chem starter boosted defending and physicals. And though, in my opinion, same with Frimpong. Ridiculous, ridiculous pace. 
Probably one of the quickest cards in the game. Quick step and rapid. If only he had like rapid plus on this version, that'd be mad. Would definitely boost the defending of physicals. Really nice, sweaty meta fullbacks. Zanetti's a more well rounded fullback. Brilliant in the defending of physical departments. Great play styles as well. For and out and out, more defensive option. But not bad at overlapping. But I definitely would say this man's more suited to you, more reserved defenders. You don't have your fullbacks overlapping. Uh, stick to Zanetti. You can't go wrong. Jao Cancelo. Not the quickest, but the acceleration definitely helps having the pace bit like that. Really good on the ball. Technical fullback. Technical play style. Flair, first touch. Chavela, block and whip pass. His other version is Trailblazer. One of the best fullbacks I've used, and he features in a later tier. Now, the centre backs, let's get onto it. Big Ronald Dorajo, my go to gold centre back on the RTG. Him and Saliba, unreal. Look at all the play styles. Very, very nice option. Good upgrade as well. No dynamic image is a bit disappointing, but still a decent shout. Now, this SBC is uh, expired, but if you still got him, definitely still consider using him because he's brilliant. Anticipate play style plus is probably the best. Uh, center back play style for me this year. Uh, let me know which one is yours down below. Anticipate all day, every day. Brilliant, brilliant card. Now, I've packed this man and I, I wanted to give him a shout out. Not super flashy, definitely gets overlooked, but a really solid no nonsense center back. The defending and the physicals are crazy, as well as anticipate, slide tackle on there. Really nice. If you get it from an icon pack, definitely debate using him. Cooler Daddy in the building, another FC Pro. Once again, when these ones is hot or cold, they might drop in price if the pro does rubbish. But if Abamaka does really well, then he's going to get upgrades and get even better. Pace bit's a bit of a worry, but still a great shout at this bracket. Campbell, yeah. Big man soul, absolute tank this year. Block, slide, tackle, bruiser, physical, strength. He just picks people up and chucks them off the pitch, mate. He's an absolute tank. Now, my most underrated centre back in this bracket is Deadly King. Rank one secured with this boy. Right, I packed him, I thought nothing of it. I was like, ah, oh, he's dead. He's dead. I got better cards. I was wrong. Ledley's in my team right now, and he's an absolute machine. So, so solid. Anticipate play style plus block jockey. He is a no nonsense centre back. And really, really good for the price. Rijkaard, probably could say he's a CDM, but I still would say centre back's probably the best position for him, purely because of the lack of dribbling. I don't want my like CDMs getting caught on the ball, basically. Use him as a centre back, and then of course, you could bring it out of the back if need be. Great play styles, really, really nice option. I'm seeing him a lot in teams still at this stage. Gomez, I believe, has just secured a plus one in four upgrade. So he might go to an 86. I think that's it. I think he started as an 85. Um, I've actually got him in tradable as well, but the loan's here for some reason. Really, really nice card. Not insane at this stage, but definitely room for growth. Same with Upa Meccano. Very similar kind of profile, these two. Upa's a bit more expensive as he's a bit rarer on the market and no defending play styles. But for Bundesliga, limited options, definitely a good idea. Bremer. My boy Bremer, great underrated goal card at the start. Block, bruiser. I don't know if we've got upgrades yet. I don't think we have. So maybe it's due at least going to get one or two of these because Juventus are pretty decent and know their way around the football pitch. So should get a few wins and get an upgrade. We've got Thiago Jallo in the building. Similar to Tomori. I think he gets overlooked because of the lack of playstyle pluses. But for Lee Gun, on a budget, 150k and below, really, really nice shout. And then honorable mention. For my evolution. I didn't want to include many Evos, but if you get his team of the week, I packed him on tradable from a player pick, put him in the free evolution, and you basically get this machine. One of my favorites so far. Played him as a center back, a CDM, a center mid. He's so, so good. Now, 150k center mid, CDM, and cams. There's some crazy, crazy shouts here. Some decent, expensive ones, close to 150, and then some budget, budget beasts. One of those budget, budget beasts is Artana. Artana? Is that how you say her name? Aitana? Bon Matty. Bon Matty. Let's call it Bon Matty. Ballon d'Or winner. Bon Matty. Five star, three star, high, high. Yeah, just, I mean, four star, five star. My bad. Just mad card. Like, she's unbelievable on the ball. Finesse shot, technical play style plus. You know how I feel about technical play style plus. One of my favorites. Great shooting. Just an absolute machine in the middle of the park. And like 50k coins. Basically a bargain at this stage. Same with Bernardo Silva. Definitely over Pat because of the Black Friday hype. But this man's dribbling, I think, might be the best I've used. It's definitely up there. It's in the top three with players that you probably see later on. But, wow. Glued to his feet. Technical play style plus. Again, surprise, surprise. Just a ball-carrying beast, big game Bernardo. 
demon in there. Pedri, similar to Bernardo, the fact that he's very reliant on the dribbling stats. Crazy play styles as well. Tick attacker, technical. We've got long ball pass, incisive pass. He's a playmaker. Probably more of a cam, but definitely could play as that and a more attacking centre mid. Similar to Bruno, similar kind of profiles, I would say. Uh, very good dribbling stats, great passing. Bruno's passing is actually unrivaled with incisive, long ball and pinged. Uh, but yeah, Pedri's definitely better on the ball. Great shouts. A brand new card is Nani. No five star, five star. EA. Why? Four star, five isn't bad, but where's the five? It's Nani, man. He deserves it. What place that plus he got? Surprise, surprise. Big Wesley in the building. Four star, five star. Medium low for both of these boys isn't great, but it's not bad for like the center mids. You're just staying there in the middle of the park doing what they do. Really nice on the ball. Great passing, shooting outside the box, shooting, etc. Dead ball. Very, very brilliant, uh, brilliant card. New addition this year as well. And of course, his new UCL hero. If you pack that from the, uh, the pre-order pack, I am jealous because he looks mad. Now, Balak and Gerard I had to include because they're no-nonsense heavy hitting centre mids that some of you guys might appreciate. They're not really meta, definitely not meta because they're a little bit on the clunkier side, but they do everything else just as well as other people. Shooting, the passing, the defending, the physical side, decent play styles as well, both with the power shot, screamer trait, play styles. Good fun cards. Big Joe Linton, I believe he's had a plus one. I think he has, and I think they've just beat... Uh, Man United, which means two play styles, which he might have been assigned already. And Newcastle will win again. You know, they're going to get the third upgrade. It'd be an 87. It has to be the way. And he won't be Hullet Gang annoyingly because he's shooting less him down. But really nice box to box centre mid. The stats, I'll tell you what, with Joe Linton. He plays better than the stats, in my opinion. Very, very similar, to be fair, to this man. A little bit lacking in the more going forward section of the attributes. But defending physicals, solid. Emery Chan in the building. No play style plus. Thunderstruck as well, can get upgraded. Brilliant, brilliant card. These two are basically the carbon copies of each other for different leagues. Big Judy had to feature. His gold card probably should be in the first section, but a little bit outdated now. Team of the week, a lot more affordable and a lot better in my opinion. Brilliant, brilliant box to box center mid. And this dead ball wizard. Travella playstyle plus as well. Yes. Shot power, long shots. It's a fun card, man. Four star, four star. Dominic Schoberschlei had to be in there. Now the wide options for the 150k to 50k bracket are as follows. Neymar, Salah. Not going to touch on them. They're unbelievable. You know they're good. Get them in your team if you want to. Coleman, once again, pace, good dribbling stats. Apart from that, a little bit of lacking in the shooting department. But five star skills are a nice addition. Tovan is getting an upgrade. I think he's going to an 88. And he looks very, very solid as it stands. I actually packed him tradable. I tried him out. Great traits, finesse shot, technical. Linked to a decent player being happy in the pro league as well. Definitely want to keep an eye on if he goes up maybe to an 89 or an 88, for example. So Soko, I don't believe any more upgrades can come here. I think he's stuck at an 87. But still, Lee Gun, brilliant shout. The agility, the pace, very similar to Doku, just a little bit more height, I believe. Joe Cole, technical play style plus. It is a trait I look for. Or a play style. I still call them traits. Uh, it is what it is. They're, they're traits in my eyes. Crazy, crazy ball carrying. But decent shooting as well. Like shot power lesson down a little bit. But still a very nice ball carrying winger. St. Max. Unfortunately no longer around. But if you did him. Yeah, he's still unreal. Really nice card. He's actually my super sub. Five star, four star. Crazy, crazy stats. Tricks the play style plus on there. Park Ji Sung. I don't think he's technically a left mid. But you could play him there. I think he's more of a box to box centre mid. But defaults as a wide player. Really, really nice well-rounded card. Defending, physical dribbling pace shooting ticks all the boxes and then relentless so he goes all damn game and then a new addition wilfred zaha in the building five star three star radioactive so links aren't really an issue here technical quick step if he had more scoring play styles it'd be a bit more expensive i reckon but yeah very nice card a little bit dodgy with a balance and reactions but good on the ball good shooting good pace cannot really go wrong with any of these guys now the strikers and center forwards in the 150k and under bracket we have got a few of the bigger players, a few larger life players, be it Kane and Morientes. Honourable shout out, by the way. All right. Fernando Morientes is my boy. I'm a change man. I loved him last year. I love him again this year. Very, very good card. There's something about him in game. He feels quicker than the pace. Decent on the ball. Not insane. But the shooting is so, so good. If he had finesse shot, I'll be an absolute dreamland. But with, with the balls in the box, score some headers, he'll be fine. Very similar to Kane. Just crazy, crazy shooting. Look at the stats, absolutely bonkers. Great reactions, not too bad on the ball, in all fairness. I think he's got a lean body type. I'm not 100% sure though, but he feels lean in game. And it's criminality that there's no scoring traits on this card. I know it is a team of the week, but where are they? 
Give him something. But we've got Incisive Pass. I guess he's more of a playmaker now. But yeah, these two are a little bit on the bigger side, but still great shouts. Katoto, Sam Kerr, very similar profiles here. I probably would say Katoto's better, but four star, four star. Crazy shooting. Lack of balance lets her down a little bit. And she's definitely slower on the ball than Sam Kerr. But yeah, the shooting's brilliant. Finesse shot, Travella. That's all you really need with strikers. Sam Kerr now, finesse shot, quick step rapid. One of the first female cards I reviewed on this game. Still really, really solid at this stage. Kept her price. Definitely deserves it. Uh, going on. To probably the most overpowered in use card right now is a Bamiyang. Like, what? EA. Naughty. High low, four star, four star. Like, the stats aren't really mind blowing, but in game, this man's different. He moves different. Absolute demon. Finesse shot, chip shot, rapid flare, Travella. Goal scoring machine, SPC still around, radioactive card, Kem's not an issue. Great, great shout. Now, the only icon I've included in this is uh, Robin Van Persie. Four star, four star. Not super insane on the ball, but. Still very good. Glides across the pitch quite nicely because of this technical. Finesse shot, chip shot, power shot, first touch, Chavella, flare. Great shooting stats. Brilliant option. Sydney Gover and Smolarek, the two go-to heroes here. I still say they're not like insane. This bracket's a little bit lacking for hero strikers and strikers in general, to be fair. Like, in my opinion, out of these guys, I'm probably picking a Bama Yang and Morientes. I haven't even mentioned Messi yet, have I? We'll go to him in a second. Yeah, but Govu, decent card. A little bit fraudulent with a three-star weak foot, but still not too shabby. Power shots, definitely ping him. Smaller wreck again. A little bit fraudulent with the three-star, three-star, but great on the ball. Balance is there. A little bit stocky in game. Absolute pile driver of a man. Timo Werner, pace demon. Dribbling lesson down a little bit. I would compare him to a Pender. Very, very similar, of course, in the same league, in the same club, so you can link them up together. But good shooting stats, power shot, rapid, quick step, no crazy play styles, but a great card. And then, of course, this man, still meta. Low, low, ridiculous dribbling stats, technical play style plus, finesse shot, Travella, quick step. Yes, 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 Lionel, you are still the meta. Next bracket, 150k to 500k, starting off with the defenders. There's so many insane center backs in this category. Lam's a bit of an imposter. Let's move into the fullback section. Uh, so many mad, mad centre backs. Like, you can't really go wrong with any of them. So I'm just going to spam through the names quickly. You're mainly looking at pace, links, and play styles at this stage, I probably would say. So, like, Tamori, no play style plus, so maybe he's a little bit undervalued, but still crazy, crazy stats. But nevertheless, probably number one is still Virgil van Dijk. You, like, you've, you've got this lone version. I'm pretty certain everyone gets him. Just try him, because he's an absolute sick joke. The pace... It doesn't matter. Balance agility doesn't matter. The man is an absolute animal and he plays quicker than that place. I swear down. He's so hard to get away from. Vincent Company, fantastic option with Anticipate Play Star Plus. Very similar to Blanc. Pretty certain you've either used him or played against him a good 60, 70 times so far this year. Absolute demon. Sol Campbell getting the recognition he deserves. Very, very nice card. Great links, of course. Upgradable as well. It's mainly the play styles being so dominant here. Same with the strength and the physicals. Brilliant, brilliant kind of combination. Similar kind of style to Desai as well. You're looking at insane physicals, good defending, great pace. Brilliant play styles for the majority of these icon center backs. Cannavaro, a little bit smaller, but still, I think, what is he, 5'9? Still a demon. The reactions, the interceptions, yes. We've also got intercept play style plus, anticipate, slide, tackle, block, acrobatic as well. Why not? And aerial for a man who's 5'9 is always nice. Corner bar, very, very similar, being 5'8 this time. We've got aerial again. No real other play styles in the defending department, but still unbelievable balance reactions and defending. Just a great combination for a great card. And then Gavario. If you've done this Man Centurion, you know how good he is. What a player. Like, plays better than the stats for sure. Block play style plus jockey as well in there. And of course, radioactive, so chem is not an issue. Those are my probably go-to center backs for that 150k to 500k. If you need any, I probably would say uh, a selection out of Van Dyke company and Blanca, my top three here but you can't go wrong with any of them now the fullbacks seem to be glitching out so let's go in and out real quick and i'm pretty certain i just realized i forgot a man in the cheap bracket here teo Hernandez deserved to be in the first selection but he's here nevertheless probably one of the go-to fullbacks of me not very good on the ball well, nowhere near as good as some of these players, but just the pace and the power overlapping. If you'll be sweaty and hit the line and cut it back, Teo's your guy. Same with Kat Devia. A little less meta this year, but still very usable and very affordable for a hero card. Now, probably the go-tos, in my opinion here, other than Teo and Andes, is going to be Batcha. I don't think you could get any more. I think her SBC's ran out, but if you've done her, definitely keep her in your squad because she's absolutely cracked. So, so good. Zambrotta, unbelievable. Kachawi. Cancelo, Lam, Dodo, and Robertson. So Zambrotta, 
Very well-rounded, solid icon. No real nonsense here. I would compare him to like a Marcus Lorente, in my opinion, in regards to icons. Four-star, five-star. Not as quick as Lorente. To be fair, very similar to Cat de Villa on paper as well. Uh, but yeah, probably the best icon right back here. Um, maybe not the best. But we'll, we'll, get, we'll get there in a minute. Uh, definitely most expensive, that's for sure. Kaichawi, very similar once again to Batcher. You will compare these two or hear their comparisons a lot because they play in the same league, same nation. Basically, carbon copies being five foot three. Kaichawi does have a better weak foot though. And a little bit better in regards to the pace. The sprint speed's higher. But yeah, crazy jumping stats on both of them. I just feel like Batcher offers so much more with the passing. Like the link up plays insane. So many crazy play styles on both of them as well. Brilliant, brilliant options and not too hard to link. If you need a Premier League left back, Robertson's your guy in this tier. Not like mind-blowingly good, but still really decent. Rapid play style plus makes it feel quicker than what we're looking at here. But yeah, really, really solid nevertheless. And one of my favourites... Cancelo. Love this card. Technical play style plus on the fullback is like almost my dream. Part of that with good defending stats. Like I overlap a lot with my fullbacks. I hit the line. I bring them inside. So I like good ball carriers. And yeah, Cancelo is definitely there. Crazy, crazy option. Dodo, one of the best Serie A options. Serie A is lacking a little bit in regards to like fullbacks. Basically looking at pace here. Same with Hernandez. On the ball, he's not too shabby though. Defending and physical is definitely chem styles. And yeah, lack of play styles, but disappointing, but still a great shout. And then my boy, Philip Lahm. Oh, play styles through the roof. I'm doing the Icon SPC I've decided, by the way. Um, I was saying to myself, am I going to do it or do I do a base icon? I don't know if you've seen this video I uploaded, a little short video. But my boy Hazy said, do the base icon upgrade instead of Lahm. I did that and we packed someone crazy who you will see later. Uh, but I will get his SPC done for sure because he's a bargain for an unbelievable player. Whole host of crazy play styles, intercept plus, anticipate slide tackle. So, so good as a fullback and also a CDM if you want to play in that. I feel my voice going a little bit here, but we're going to power on and get through this quickly. 500k cinnamid cams and CDMs. I'm just going to skim through these because once again, you're in the 500k tier. You can't go wrong with any of these cards, okay? Trust me. Just pick and choose whoever you fancy trying out. Let it, just decide for yourself at this stage because you've got some coins to spend and you cannot go wrong. Modric, unbelievable boss to box center mid. My center mid still, 424 games. Crazy card. If you tell us once again, absolutely stacked to the nines of five star, five star. Bon Matty, you can partner them together. You're absolutely gliding across the pitch with the technical play style plus. The first touch here, finesse shots. Musiala, one of the craziest dribblers on the game. Like definitely carries the card. A little bit lacking with the pace and the shooting, but technical play style plus makes him feel quicker for sure. Gioro, no nonsense CDM, great links being in the French Women's League as well. A Betty Pelé, ball carrying maestro, needs that technical play style though. I wonder if his new, new card's gonna get it as well. But great dribbling stats. Valverde, no nonsense heavy hitting box to box center mid. I will say some people aren't the biggest fan of this man. Is Villa Marmite. I wasn't a biggest fan of his gold card, but now that I've used his informs and his higher, I think, what's his most recent one? Radioactive, big fan of it. I've got that on loan luckily, so. <laughs> we'll be having fun at foot jabs this weekend. Great card. The pull, no nonsense. Heavy hitting while round center mid. CDM. Probably more of like a box to box. Four star, three star. Brilliant looking stats. No insane play styles, but not too shabby. Out and out CDM machine is Claude Makalele with block, anticipate, slide tackle, and some mad stats. It's the dribbling, the defending, and the pace. The Kante esque vibes or the Makalele, because he's the original, I guess. Uh, but yeah, very, very good card. My CDM right now is this man. Yeah, love his card. And they've just secured a plus one. So hopefully he still gets the other two and he goes up to a 90 with the two play styles if Barca win their last two games. Fingers crossed that happens. He's unbelievable. I've actually got this man not as a loan. I'm pretty certain I do. Let me double check because I've got too many loans in this um <laughs> in this club. Like way too many loans. Where are you, Marquisio? Do I not? Oh, no, we've got too many 87s. He is here. Okay, cool, cool. I was going to say, I've not actually used this version yet, but I've used the loan, obviously. Uh, really nice option. Really good card. Similar in a way to Modric, I would say. Very, very similar profiles. A little bit taller, though, which is good. I believe Modric, what, is 5'9"? Is that correct? 5'8". He's actually smaller than I thought. Marquisio, good option for the City. Yeah. Another crazy CDM uh, is SCN. Him and Makalele. the two go-to icon CDMs in this tier. Now, a couple of honourable mentions. JJ Akocha. Yeah. Ball carrying maestro. Unbelievable at dribbling. Shooting's fraudulent. I've used him in... I actually went rank, rank one with his loan card in my club. So good at carrying the ball. Couldn't shoot to save his life, unfortunately. But great card. Taliska, brand new. Price might drop. 
Really, really solid option. Tall, offers something a bit different in that cam roll and a really, really nice car. Finesse shot, long ball pass, play style plus. If that was Finesse plus, then we'd be dreaming. Salah's probably my favorite winger right now. I've got his pair of mother, and I actually packed his 91 team of the week after doing his pair of mother turning red. So not ideal, but unbelievable on the ball. Great shooting, good pace, finesse shot, play style plus. A demon, same with handsome. Probably the go-to right wing for most pros at the start of the game. He's got better versions now, but still at this stage, ridiculous, ridiculous shout. Saka, mainly here because I'm an Arsenal fan, but like so, so good on the ball. Shooting as well, boosted, four-star, four-star. I think the lack of play stars kind of would make me pick other players over him, but still a brilliant shout. And I believe secured both upgrades now being the 91. I'm pretty certain we're, we're fully qualified. Luis Figo, crazy, crazy solid card. Like, he's a bit physical as well, which is what I like. A little bit big in game. 5 foot 11, great shooting, good dribbling, great play styles, technical play style plus. You know how I feel about that one. We've got Lauren Hemp up next. Four, what was it? Four star, three star isn't great. But the ball carrying, the pace, she's basically a sweat machine. Don't rely on the shooting and the composure. Just get the ball, run with it, cross it in, lay it back, score goals. That's what I'll be doing with a goal. Same with Joe Cole. His shooting is a little bit forged, and this version is definitely better, but the ball carrying is insane. Quick step technical, very, very nice. Similar story with Paolo Futre, technical play style, and I do want his brand new version. I would try it out for sure. The dribbling stats are mad. Same with the pace. Crazy, crazy card. Same with Cascarino. There seems to be a trend here. Not the best shooting, but serious pace and dribbling. Technical, quick step, yes, please. And Sufati. Now, Troy, Adama Troy is coming back. He's leaked as a player moments. This card's mad expensive. I can't imagine how expensive Troy is going to be. It's going to be very similar, I reckon. Maybe a little bit less in the shooting, but the dribbling, the pace, like, yeah, technical. We all know Dama Troy is definitely going to have rapid play style plus as well. But Ansu Fati is a brilliant card. A little bit expensive, I would say, considering a lot of you have that uh, Evo version of him as well. I probably wouldn't be spending the price on this man yet. It's still really solid. Then Bele, not really good touching him. Chiesa, no nonsense, you know the drill. Alawaran. Yeah, not as overpowered as last year, but still a great shout. And this man, Perisic, snuck under the radar. Four star, five star. Ariel is the deadest play style for the boy. If he had seven hours, that technical would be dreaming. But rapid, flair, Chavella, dead ball. Crazy, crazy well rounded card. You could play him as a box to box center mid or like a, a wing back, and you'll be flying. And the center forwards and strikers, Griezmann. Yes, play the month, Griezmann. Any version of Griezmann, yes. Yes, get him in your team. <laughs> He's so good. Finesse shot, technical, so, so good. Love him. Absolutely love him. Benzema, Kane, a little bit more bigger, larger than life players. But Kane's shooting just carries the card. Same with the reactions. Ben's similar kind of story. A bit better on the ball with the pace. But the finesse shot plays that plus carries him. Jao Pedro is like on paper, one of the craziest strikers in the game. But no play styles. It's disappointing. Four star, four star is great. Uh, but yeah, look at the agility, the dribbling, the ball control, the shooting, the pace, the physicals, the strength, the heading. Brilliant card. Raul and Del Piero, in my opinion. And where is he? I think we've got Zola and I think we've got Torres in there as well. I'll put them all together uh, because, you know, it's one thing that all these four have in common. Well, they're icons and they've got Finesse Shot Playstyle Plus. That's the price. Just really, really nice options. You can't go wrong with literally any of these four. I would say Raul's a little bit worse than the other three. Definitely prefer Torres and Zola over these two, but Dal Piero is insane, insane in this game. And that play style plus definitely benefits him. But all a bit bigger, which I like being 5'11", with the finesse shot, the technical, very nice combination. Just a lethal shooting for basically all of these boys. Zola's definitely the best ball carrier, in my opinion. He's got the best body type, he's more built for that. But yeah, brilliant, brilliant icon options. Heroes, we've got Vola, Tevez, and Keen. Love this card, love him. Technical play style, press proven is a combination to behold. The man absolutely glides. Dribbling stats are lies. He flies. He's one of my favorite cards. Honestly, I had to pick between him and playing him with Griezmann. Griezmann's currently starting, but no matter what the score is at halftime, Keane's coming on. Guess a run out. Tevez, Voller, great options still at this stage of the game. Have a will have UCL heroes coming out. Very, very nice card. Tevez, just Tevez. Who doesn't love Tevez? He's fantastic. The Demon Oshwala has got an upgrade. Yeah, four star, four star. My fiance actually packed me this card tradable from Foot Champs last weekend. I choked rank one, I went 18 and two and got her. So happy days all round, really. Uh, we all know if I did get rank one, I would not be packing anything as good as this. So it's the way it works. Lack of like really crazy play styles, but still decent ones. Acrobatics a bit questionable, but you could have some fun with it. Brilliant shout. Big or Waza, three star, four star, goal scoring machine. And then we've got big CR7. 
I've reviewed the card and like he's not crazy in game, but he's very good. The price is high though, because obviously a CR7 is the way it works. As soon as he gets a new special card, I'm sure he will come down a little bit. It's still a brilliant shout. Gabby Jesus could have, in my opinion, like some scoring play styles, but still a great card. The pace, the shooting, and the, uh, the dribbling strategy in balance. Good combination. And then the last but not least is Openda. EA gave this man an accidental upgrade. They made him 88. He should be 87, but they've juiced him one higher. And I'm very grateful for that because, yeah, the card looks absolutely bonkers. Uh, finesse shot, quick step rapid. Brilliant, brilliant card. Good heading as well. You can leap like a salmon. 99 jumping. To be fair, my voice is on its last legs here. So we're just going to spam through uh, everyone at once, okay? Allow me on this one. Uh, if you're still watching, I appreciate it as well because, yeah, we're on our last legs. So we're going to go through this quickly. Cruyff. Pele, Ronaldinho, Ronaldo. Like, just look and you will see cards that you should be buying. Ham, Ronaldinho. De Bruyne is a great shout still at this stage, even at a pace a little bit low. Puskas, Benzema, crazy card with a finesse shot pace style plus. Cafu, Puskas. Haaland, I would say, is in a void for me. Not the biggest fan. I think he's a little bit too big and bulky. If there's a patch in this game, maybe it'd be more usable. Zidane, I love Puskas' card. He's a little bit fraudulent with a four-star, three-star. Could be higher, but then you don't really need weak foot when you've got ridiculous shooting stats like he has. Lionel Messi in here. Probably one of the best-looking cards at this stage of the game. 92 rated. Absolute mad lad. Mbappe, Eusebio's, Bonmati as well. Absolutely love her card. She's phenomenal no matter what version you do get. Zico, one of the best center mid cams in the game. I actually packed Bobby Charlton. That was from my base icon pack. My boy Bobby's unreal. Love him on this game. Mardinia, we mentioned earlier. Thierry Henry. Salah, of course. Any option, any version of Salah. Same with Hansen is a go-to for me. Sam Kerr. Eh, not crazy. I probably wouldn't say she's worth this price tag. I probably would avoid a player like that, for example. Diani, ridiculous, but 1.2 mils are a little bit pricey for me. And Bappe's gold card still at 2.3 is mental. Hansen's getting the upgrades in here. Hullitz, your Smiths, your Beelies, your Vinnie Juniors, your Neymars, VVDs, Valverde's promo card. Jarzinho, yeah, some absolute mad lads as we just kind of sim through this section here. Uh, Kante, brilliant. Kante, our son. Haven't really touched on son at all. Incredible on this game. I've probably got 600 plus goals with a boy at this stage. Every card you see here is basically a, a cop. However, a lot of the SPCs probably would obviously not do anymore because they're not here and they're just basically things you should avoid. Uh, Kola Mawani, FC pros, I'll be careful with them because obviously they're live cards. Same with um, the Road to the Knockouts, for example. I wouldn't be kind of like, you know, banking all my money on those. You'd be careful with those for sure. And then we finish off with the last section here. All right, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to put together a goalkeeper team and then we're done. I'm only going to mention three goalkeepers because in my opinion, all the others are shocking. Sometimes these guys are shocking, but it is what it is. Van der Sar, Courtois, Mainan. I'm done. <laughs> my voice is gone. I hope you enjoyed. Smash the like, subscribe, you know. Probably the longest video on the channel. I'll catch you guys later.